This is a sheep wagon, sometimes referred to as a sheep camp. And the sheep wagon, of course, is a form of a mobile home. And these would have been used seasonally by a shepherd who was out with the flock, and they would have been moved from location to location, probably by tractor or by truck. They're not really roadworthy, so you wouldn't take it down the highway. And it isn't really set up to be drawn by horses, although I suppose some of the earlier ones probably were. But this is very simple, very basic living. It has just a few amenities. It has a small bed, and I mean a small bed, a small wood cook stove, a little pantry, a little bit of storage, and that's pretty much it. But yet they have quite a bit of character, and they're relatively popular these days, especially some that have been restored and really fixed up fancy. This one's not in bad shape inside. The outside's a little rough, needs another coat of paint on the door and things like that. But this is probably more realistic for the way these would have been used originally. As a matter of fact, when Janet bought this sheep wagon, there were still some belongings in it from the last shepherd who had used this sheep wagon to tend a flock of sheep. Now, I don't know how long it's been since anybody had sheep around Beulah. I've never seen them. I'm not sure Janet remembers ever seeing them. But this was something that was out on a ranch near Beulah. And when ran that ranch sold, the owner did not take the sheep wagon with them and a whole lot of people in Beulah thought it was going to be their chance to get the sheep wagon. Well Janet was first in line, made an offer, they took the offer and she's had this now for 20-25 years probably which really ticked off a lot of the other people who thought it was going to be their sheep wagon. Now I suspect the original shepherd was not a very large person because this bed is not really big enough to sleep in. I my head is touching at one end, my feet are touching at the other end, so I would have to sleep curled up or sideways. And I'm a little bit over six feet, so the original shepherd probably was not a six foot tall person. But it's not a bad bed, it's wide, it's wider than a regular single bed, so it was probably not bad. And when Janet got this, it had a cotton stuffed mattress that the mice had gotten into, so now it's just a foam rubber mattress. Not all that uncomfortable, but again, a little bit cramped if you're a taller person. Now underneath the bed, there are a couple of little cabinets. In fact, there's storage all the way across underneath here. It's just only two doors, so you gotta reach through to get to some of it. But there's room to store a few things. Looks like some pots and pans and a bell. Don't know why there's a bell under there. And there's a little cupboard in the sheep wagon so that you can have a place to put your dishes. And that folds down and has a little place you can prepare your meal or eat your meal. This is really quite a, a handy arrangement. And there's still stuff in here that might very well have been from that original shepherd. The tin cups might have been his. We know for sure that this old beat up hat was his. Doesn't even come close to fitting me. And I think this old pair of glasses probably belonged to the shepherd. I think Janet said there was a razor in here. And those are some of the things that were in here. I doubt that any of the food stuff that's in here was here when he was using it. It's just stuff that has been put in here since. This gets used very occasionally as kind of a little guest room. Not too many people really want to hike out to the sheep wagon. I think we're going to move it closer to the house so it'll get used a little bit more often. And there's another little cabinet down here that has more pots and pans, dustpan, things like that in there. And a very small, very specialized little wood stove. Can't have a very big fire or do much on it, but it's enough to get the job done and would certainly be enough to heat the sheep wagon. And the last little corner over here is completely empty. There's nothing stored over there. It's just a place for the broom to sit and probably had some personal belongings. The door, by the way, is a Dutch door. So you can open the top separate from the bottom if you wanted to. And in the days when these were horse-drawn sheep wagons, my understanding is you would actually stand inside the Dutch door to drive the team of horses because they pull in this direction. But since this one was obviously set up to be pulled by a tractor or a truck, that isn't an issue. Now it would be nice if this had better steps on it, and it had some steps at one point that were just sitting out next to it, but they didn't survive the Colorado weather very well. So now it's kind of a big step to get out of here. It's not very big, it's only a little over six feet wide and a little over 12 feet long. And the base for the sheep wagon is an old hay wagon. I think there's a tag on it. Let's take a look and see if we can find the tag that says who made the hay wagon. It says Winter Weiss Wagon. For some reason I thought I saw a tag on here that said Studebaker, but that might have been somebody else's sheep wagon I was looking at. 
There are a couple other little storage compartments underneath here. People refer to them as a possum belly, just another place you can store some stuff. And of course the tongue is definitely not set up for being hauled by horses or mules or anything like that. Very much for a tractor or a truck. And the front axle pivots, so this actually has two pivot points when you're towing it, which makes it a real bear to try and back up. So it's ideal when you're pulling one of these things to pull it straight in where you want it and not have to back up. Frequently what we end up doing, if we're actually going to move it and put it somewhere else, and like I say, we're going to move it up closer to the house so maybe it'll get used a little bit more is to back it up with a separate vehicle like an ATV with a winch on it and just pull it back into the spot you want it in instead of trying to back it up with a tow vehicle. Some of you may be better at that than I am, but I don't like backing up trailers that have two pivot points. So that's just a quick look at our sheep wagon. It's kind of a fixture at our house. Doesn't get used much, but it's something we kind of like having a certain amount of pride and ownership, especially since Janet was able to steal it away from all those other people who thought they were gonna own it. Now currently, sheep wagons that are completely fixed up are bringing a relatively high price. Some of these things are twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 when they're completely fixed up into a luxury accommodation, kind of an Airbnb type thing for the rich cowgirl set. This one will never be that, probably never going to be that valuable unless we completely gutted it and started over. Then it would no longer be a remodel, it would be a new build, and we're not going to do that. We're going to keep it as original as we can. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down there. Stick around, watch a few of the other videos, share the videos with your friends. But then I hope you have time to get out and enjoy life, do something that is fun for you to do, explore something new and different. But in any case, I will see you back here for the next one.